Good afternoon everybody, we Paddy from Across the Shock and I'm going to try and slow my speech down. This is the third time I've been doing this video. You've seen by the title, it is three new knives in the mid-range, the budget range and the high range. In some sort of order, I can't think. <laughs> I'm excited so it's all gone. I'm going to slow down. Now, at the beginning of the year I said I was going to try and take more care and try and replace knives in my... Uh, in my collection to better the ones I had the year before as in the budget range, the mid range and the high range and have at least one of them that I'm going to keep when I buy them I'm going to keep them for the rest of the year to use, review and just give proper detailed reviews on all of them so I didn't think I was going to do it all at once but I sold a few knives at the weekend and why did I sell a few knives? It started off very simply Bloomin' Jack Wolf knives are the trouble I'd got that penya. I loved that penya. It was a beautifully made knife. Lovely. But it just wasn't getting carried. My Jack Wolf knives are too good. And that's the truth. They are too good. I like these more than I like my penya. I was carrying them more. Because when you get something in your head, I don't like that as much as that. I, it goes for my collection because there's no point. I'll not carry it. It'll sit in the box. And that's what I'm trying to really clamp down on. And yeah, I don't mind getting the penya. It was lovely to get it in hand. It's a fantastic knife. But I'm sorry, I just love my Jack Wolfs more. Absolutely. So I ended up selling that and a couple of other pieces. I got a few hundred pound and uh, I just spent it all for the channel. Now, Sally did get a present as well. Well, she got cash to go and buy presents. So, we, uh, you know, I do, I do share the wealth. <laughs> Bless me, I'm such a nice man. Um, so that's what I've done. And I bought three new knives and they're amazing. And that's why I'm a bit excited to get three all in one day. And when I say amazing, the budget knife even excites me. So last year, my budget knife that I enjoyed the most was the Ganzo. It's the R2-D2 with an access lock, so it's not an R2-D2. But I got this and I, I, at the end of the year nearly. But it is just a fantastic knife. My flicking behind the camera isn't though. Um, it's a super knife. I love this little knife in 440C. So I wanted to get something to this sort of... Oh, that's bouncing. Um, I wanted to get something with this kind of action and fidgetability because although I'm not a fidgeter, I know a lot of people out there are. And this is just a perfect example of how to do things right for a budget price. So my budget knife this year is one of them. Paddy, that's a big K-bar box. Is that a slip joint? It is. It's just this, but it was opened up in the big box. And it's the K-bar dozier. But um, I, I've had quite a few K-bar dozers. Um, and I was going to say, I'm just going to get a wee knife out because I want to show it to you when I'm in here. Oh, here it is. Yeah. The reason I got this was, I think the K-bar dozier is a fantastic knife. Now, I can sharpen. Aussie, it doesn't hold an edge brilliantly well. Probably the best people to do it that I know of were cold steel, but it was all right. And because I sharp and I carry a wee stick with me if I'm out anywhere, I never had any problem. But I realise there's people out there that maybe wanted more edge retention. So I went for this. It's in D2. Um, it's under £50, so that's under my budget. doesn't have to be yours, but it's my budget range. It's right at the top. It's about £48 uh, over here in the UK. I know they're cheaper in the States, but this is what you have to pay. So I got this, and the more I was looking at when I was buying this, I realised, you know, I watched Shot Show, and I don't know what anybody, any of the others did, but Benchmade really did become a big ass in my... You know, I love my Benchmade knives, and I've got a few of them, and I love them. They're fantastic knives. But they're putting this up to $200. Do you know what I mean? This is not a $200 knife. I don't care in anybody's books. For me, it's not a $200 knife. You know, it's a bit of metal. It's a bit of plastic. Nice bit of metal. It's S30V. There's nothing wrong with S30V. Fantastic steel. Plastic handle. Same as this. FRM. Just as grippy as this. And this is in D2 and it's coated. So, you know, is there, is there much difference in edge retention between the two of these? If they're heat treated properly? Not a whole lot. But there is a difference. This is better. But this is £48. This over here in the UK now, at the minute, is about 140, 150. Sorry, this is going to be my bug out in the future. And this is what I'm going to use as the size comparison. This is a clone. There you go. There's not that much difference in the size comparison. This is gone. I'm not promoting that knife. Other knives in Benchmade, I don't mind the price. And they have a forever warranty that, you know, is really good. But I think they're taking the mickey now with their pricing. Uh, so 
this is my budget knife that's gonna it's not replacing this because this is staying in the collection because it's good and I'm only keeping what I really like. This is super. I'm really over the moon with it. I like this titanium coat and it's quite nice, goes well with a blue, lovely knife. So that's my budget knife, the first one so far of the standard that I know I'm gonna keep. The second one was last year was my mid-range. This was just over £50, so it sneaked into that mid-range. Uh, this is the Kubi, and this is the Kubi. I can't know what number it is, 211 or something. But this action in a knife is unbelievable. You know, it has two opening ways on it. I'm not a fidgeter, but I do like doing that when a knife closes under control. Really, really love it. So this is not leaving the collection because it's so good. I'm going to keep it. And that's what I want to do. Just keep knives that I like. The rest, get rid of. And that will be happening this year. What did I get in this place? Well, I tell you what I got in this place. I got this, which is a Kaiser. I don't have many Kaisers. I've had some in the past and they've been good knives, nothing wrong. I just, I got out of the way of buying Kaiser. But I bought this one because of, the, of watching people's reviews on YouTube. I got this one. This is the Kaiser T1. Now, when they first came out, they were in titanium, quite expensive. I couldn't really afford them. It wasn't a knife that I would have called, you know, that mid-range knife. I'm sorry I didn't now. Not sorry. Because the titanium, yes, I, I've got titanium knives. I like titanium knives, but I don't like too many. This is my Carter. And listen to this for an opening. I, I am not pushing hard. Trust me. <laughs> listen to that. And look at that blade. That's like the slippy slicer blade on my Hindra. It is beautiful. Not super thin behind the edge, but a good work knife. Good tip on it. You can work away with this. It is beautiful. Watch the closing action on this knife that costs £70. <laughs> is that not just... Look at that. Come on. Come on. If you haven't had a Kaiser T1 and you want to get in now, when they, these are £70 over here. They'll be cheaper in the, in the States. I know that. But I'm talking, you know, to everybody. For £70, this is flipping stunning. Absolutely stunning. And it just came absolutely centred right down the middle. I haven't oiled this or done nothing. It just came like this out of the box. I am super impressed with this. Can't wait to use it, do the testing and get back to you. Super knife, absolutely super. So we're on to the high range now, which I know, oh, I meant to say to you about Dozier. <laughs> I've had loads of these little black ones and this was in the uh, the um, Aussie. This is the owner of our caravan park, come up to me near the end of last year, he says, Stephen, you wouldn't put a wee edge in that for me? <laughs> this is what he gave me. I just wanted to show you how much he has used this knife. Now, he's putting caravans in, he's cutting it all day long. Look at the difference. His blade, my blade. How much use has he put on that there? And I just kept it to, to, to show. Aussie, this is a working man, and he's used it for years. And he's wearing it down. I took it out of his hand, and I said, give me that blooming knife. Went into my caravan, got my dozer out, and gave him a brand new one. I said, here. There's a new one. Go and play with it. And he was over the moon. Over the moon for a stupid little knife like this. So we are knife nuts. He's just a knife user. And if he can use that and wear it down to, to near a nub, I don't know. It's just, it really makes you think, you know, what sort of a standard do we set, set for knives in the budget air in the rain? Like he's used that for years. So anyway, let's get back. I'm all over the place. I'm excited. The next one is my high range one. And my high range last year was this. Benchmade 945, an absolutely gem of a knife. You know the 940 is my grill knife, but this is my pen knife. It's a proper working knife. This is a pen knife. It's a little bit thinner behind the edge, thinner in the blade. It's just everything about this sits in my pocket and I adore it. Absolutely. More than I ever thought I would, to be honest with you. And so to pick something to replace this in my high end was quite a task. Especially when you had to do it in uh, the space of a couple of hours because the money was in your pocket and you have to spend it. So, <laughs> what did I buy? Now, here's the exciting bit. And, and these two are beautiful, but when you get your high-end one, it's nice. Now, this one cost about £200. And because I had the money, I just spend it. Because if I don't, it'll dwindle away and I'll have nothing. So, that's why I spend it straight away. It, just, it has to be spent. So, I got myself the Tactile Turn Bayer. Spelt B E X A R. This is the, I love the fact that they give you this little uh, sheet with it, a cheat sheet. It's Rockwell the 61. 
for the blade steel that's on there, does it tell you what it is on there? It's maximate. I'll tell you anyway now. It's maximate steel. 61 is, it could go much higher than that. Uh, it could go up to 63, 64 quite happily. But I'm quite happily for my use, 61 will be fine. As long as it was over 60, I wasn't buying maximate that was under 60. But 61 is fair enough. It's fair enough. Here's the knife. Look at that. It's not just a beautiful knife, but look at that. <laughs> look how thin that is. Look how thin that is. I don't know what weight this is. It is very, very slim. Let me just get this up here so you can see it. Uh, on. And we're in ounces. 1.8 ounces. It's the same weight as the Benchmade Bug Out. But this is all titanium now. There's, it's a difference in size. Look at that. That's the bug out. This is the tactile turn in full titanium scales. They're not uh, cut out anyway on the inside at all. It's just full titanium, which gives it rigidity and strength, which you don't get in the bug out unless you start buying titanium scales. And then you're going to take it over the price this is. This is about £200. Maximate. It's got on the front there, you got there, but on the back, you can see the new Wonder Steel. I've never had Maximate. It wasn't particularly on my radar until I had this money to buy it. And I thought, well, why not just get it and see what it's like? I bought this as a, a round the house pocket knife because it weighs nothing. It can go into a pair of thick jeans or it can go into a pair of shorts. That's why I've got this. This is going to be probably one of my most used knives this year because I'll take it about the house. It is centered fairly well. It's a wee bit off to this side, but that'll not bother me in the slightest. It's beautiful. It has the most gorgeous, can you see that? Milled, there we are. You can see that, the milled handle. And if I was putting my hand in my pocket, the change is going to be left alone because this is what I'm going to be stroking. It just feels gorgeous, lovely in hand, but it's so incredibly thin. Look at that. It is beautiful. This will do all my tiny little tasks around the house. The, do I need Maximus for a knife around the house? No, I do not. But I can have one and I've got one. I can get, it, it, it's not a squeeze, but I can get four fingers on there. It's fully in there. You know, it's probably about half of the last V finger. But for a little small pocket knife, that's plenty. And again, I don't have to sneak up because that's close enough for any use that I'm going to do. Love the clip point. Um, this nail nick is not really for use. You can just, well, I suppose you could. You could get your nail in there to pull it. But to be honest with you, there's plenty there. When you put your thumb on top of that, it gives you the grip. And the walk and talk is really solid. Really solid. And that'll just give you the wee thud. Beautiful. Really nice. Perfect for a pocket knife. I absolutely already love this. Really is. Now, I'm going to ask you a wee question first. I like this. What I've noticed on the back spring here, at the front, it is not completely flush. It's sitting just a wee bit high, and it's sitting a wee bit high at the back. Now, has anybody else got one of these that's got a, maybe a little imperfection on the back spring? To be honest with you, it's not going to worry me. The back spring is perfect, and it works absolutely amazing. It's a little bit high. Not everything can be Jack Wolf knife quality. Um, and if I start putting knives up to that sort of standard, I'm sorry, you, you wouldn't get another knife. <laughs> so this is my expensive one. I can't wait to use it, get back to you. It's so thin. Um, the bevels are absolutely perfect. Now, it needs a wee strop. It's sharp enough. I know I could cut. No, I'll show you. You know, I can cut paper with it. There's not a problem. But oh, it's sharp enough, but it needs a wee strop. Because it's thin enough behind the edge there. Needs a wee strap, and I'll do that. I'll give it a wee sharpen before I do the review to let you see what let let you hear what maximum's like to sharpen. Because I say I haven't done it. So there's the three knives reviews to come over the next couple of weeks. Um, they're probably going to be the first one. I'll probably just do the budget one uh, first, and I'll do it. I'll go through. But I'll I'm going to be using this an awful lot. That might end up first. You never know. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to my twaddle. I'm really excited. What a start to the year. What a start. Um, just fantastic. So, Paddy's away. 
for a wee cup of tea and to stroke my dogs to stop them fretting. Take care. Bye-bye now.